What's up everyone welcome back to another interesting video on my youtube channel and today I'll be reviewing another AOSP based custom ROM on my POCO X4 Pro the Rising OS 1.2 so I'll be talking about everything the pros cons features battery backup gaming performance and most importantly the customizations so if you don't know that Rising OS is known for its amazing customizations and features so yeah I'll be talking about everything in this video so make sure to watch the video till the end and let me tell you that we have finally completed our 200 members in our youtube family so thank you everyone for this amazing support without you it wasn't possible guys so make sure to subscribe my channel if you like my content and watch the video till the end now let's get the video started starting with the boot animation so the boot animation seems quite simple and classic i would say so thumbs up regarding the boot animation now let's talk about the software department so guys talking about the software so this rom comes with the latest security patch of 5th june 2023 and it's obviously based on android 13 and let me tell you that this is an unofficial build but the developer of this rom has also got the official maintainership so the next update coming in the future will be official so yeah that's for the software department Talking about the launcher, so this room comes on the Altus launcher which is based on the Pixel launcher but with a lot of customizations and features. Like you can also change the theme icons and you can also change the app grid size from here. And moving back into the home screen, you can also apply different app widgets from the widget section. But here comes the main twist. If you click on the Altus launcher settings, as you can see you get different, I mean a lot of customizations and features just for the home screen like if you click on the icons option and select the icon pack as you can see that you can apply different types of custom icons for your apps like i want to apply this pix material dark icon pack just click on it and move on to the home screen as you can see that the icons get applied which looks really cool right not bad not bad Moving back you also get customizations for your screen like themed hot seat search bar so when you apply it as you can see that the theme of the google search bar gets changed even you can also get features like monochromatic search bar theme which is really cool right. Moving back onto the Altus launcher settings as you can see you will find an option called the gesture settings which is one of my personal favorites why let me show it to you. So when you click on it and apply it and then lock your screen. I mean just look at this wow it's really one of the best features i've got in this launcher and i do personally use to turn on and turn off the flashlight and even you can also customize the gesture shake intensity to prevent accidental gestures moving back you also get some features for app drawer like you can change the number of rows and columns and even you also get some miscellaneous features so i think that you're thinking that yeah it's a great launcher with a lot of features and customizations it's simple and customizable but let me tell you that everything doesn't go well for the launcher watch the video till then to know everything Talking about the pre-installed apps so as is the g apps build so you get the google play store and the google pre-installed in it but apart from this you also get the miui camera pre-installed but if you try to open it it just crashes continuously so let me tell you that I don't have any problem regarding that because What the fuck amigo, vos estás re loco I do personally use the LMC 8.4 camera But I hope that this bugs get fixed in the future updates I know it will get fixed So yeah, that's for the pre-installed apps And now let's talk about the most important part of this custom room The features and customizations now moving on to the settings you will find an option called personalizations which is the part to the features and customizations of the rising os 1.2 so when you open it i mean as you can see you get a lot of i mean one two three four five six seven seven different tabs for customizations and features so firstly moving on to the lock screen features you get features like always on display while charging pocket detection ripple effect and much more but the thing I like the most is this lock screen clock style. So if you open it, as you can see, you get different types of preset for lock screen clock. I mean, you can just swipe from here and choose your favorite clock style. Moreover, you can also set the format whether you want to keep your clock in single line or double line. Moving back, you can also customize your lock screen date font style from here. I mean, you get a lot of presets regarding that too, which is really amazing. So yeah, that's for the lock screen features. 
Moving back, you also get some miscellaneous features. So when you open the miscellaneous tab, as you can see, you get the features like game space, which is a really helpful feature because it stabilizes the gaming performance for the added games. And moreover, you can also change the presets according to battery performance and the default one. Moving back, you also get features like parallel space by which you can add a clone for the selected app which is a really helpful feature and moreover, you also get the system manager so when you open it, as you can see, you can boost your gaming performance according to the profiles like I have kept it in the sustained mode. In fact, you also get the spoofing features for higher FPS in games which doesn't work, I don't know why, but the unlimited photo and video backup for Google Photos works fine without any problem. Apart from this, you also get features like Android P animation and moreover, you also get two different lock screen animation like I have set it on the CRT one, which looks really cool, right? Nice. Now you also get some features for notification but I'm not gonna cover it cause it doesn't consist a lot of features but still, if you want more features, just click the quick settings option and as you can see, you can customize your battery icon whether you want to keep it hidden or visible but apart from this, you also get customizations for battery styles like I have kept mine on the Portrait MX and now if I select the circle one, the battery icon for the QS panel gets changed. Moving down, you can also customize your QS panel rows and columns like if I select 4 and apply the changes, the number of columns gets changed. In fact, you can also change the QS background transparency from this option like if I want to keep it on 1%, it becomes more transparent. But the features which I personally love the most are this QS page transitions and QS setting styles. Like when you click on the QS page transitions, as you can see that you get different QS panel sliding effects like if I select the fade, the sliding animation gets changed. But apart from this, if you move on to the QS styles, as you can see you get different QS styles like I have selected the two tone accent one and now if I click on the outline one, the QS style gets changed. Now moving on to the sound features, you get features like navbar pulse and ambient pulse which shows the bars of the music playing on your navbar and the lock screen. Moving into the status bar section, you get the features like battery bar which displays the percentage of the battery by a colored bar like when the battery is above 60 or 70%, the color seems quite greenish and yellowish but when it goes down to 30 or 25%, the color changes to red and orange. I personally use this feature and it's a really helpful feature to indicate the battery. You also get this amazing charging animation on your battery bar while charging your phone which looks like this. Now talking about the user interface settings, so you get the most customizations in this tab, I mean you can change the font style, system icon pack, navbar styles, signal and even Wi-Fi icon packs. But it's not finished here. Even you can also change the app icon shape and setting style and it's still not finished again. I mean there are more customizations and features outside the personalization tab but for now we have finally covered the personalizations. Now let's talk about the other features we get in the settings. Now moving back onto the main settings you will find an option for sound and vibration so when you open it as you can see on the bottom, you will find an option for charging sounds, so when you click on it, as you can see that there are a lot of pre-built charging sounds, but you can also set your own custom charging sounds, so let me show you something. A few inches later. Now moving on to the security settings, let me tell you that this room comes with app lock and moreover fingerprint and face lock also works fine without any problem. So yeah, that's for the customizations and features. Now let's talk about the performance section. Talking about the performance, so I ran Antutu and the scores came about 461k which is unbelievable. I mean nowadays the scores are coming a lot more. I think there's a problem with the latest Antutu 10 but leaving that the scores are still amazing. Even when I ran CPU throttle test, the CPU throttled to 95% of its max performance giving a max GIP score of 199k 
and average of 193k which is really impressive again. Now let's talk about the gaming performance. So firstly let me tell you that the FPS spoof didn't work so I had to flash this module to unlock all the high settings and I tested the gaming performance in smooth extreme graphics and I obviously played PUBG so yeah let me tell you that the gaming performance is on the next level. For the gaming test I played 2 TDM matches and 1 classic match back to back and the results are amazing. For the first match I got an average of 59 FPS consuming only 1% of the battery which is amazing and for the second match as you can see that we get an average of 59 FPS again with no battery consumption this time and if you are checking the FPS graph as you can see that there is no frame drop during the whole gaming session the frames are stuck to 59 and 60 FPS and for the classic Livic match I got the same result and the test went for 30 minutes straight so I can definitely consider this room as a gaming room I mean just look at the stability of the gaming performance so yeah it's one of the best gaming rooms to handle such a gaming performance without any throttling or frame drops in a device like Poco X4 Pro. Now talking about the battery backup, so the battery backup is also outstanding. I mean I got a battery backup of about 8 to 9 hours for even considering heavy usage like gaming for 2 hours and it just handles everything very well. I mean considering normal situation this room just hits 11 plus hours. So it's one of the best rooms to provide such a gaming performance along with such an amazing battery backup. So shout out to Semina Alexandru for this amazing work. I mean just respect bro. Moreover let me tell you that 5G also works fine in this room. So yeah that's for the pros of this rising OS and now let's talk about the cons. Talking about the cons, so as you know that the MIUI camera is not working and crashing time to time but apart from this the big problem which I faced is about the launcher. I mean the Autos launcher that is the stock launcher lags and jitters on the home screen and even for the app drawer and QS panel. Moreover it is stuck in 60Hz on the app drawer so I think more optimization is needed regarding the launcher. So for this problem I personally use Nova launcher which doesn't lag at all and worked fine for me. According to me this room is amazing but the only problem I faced was with the launcher so I hope that all the problems get fixed in the future updates but for now if I talk about my conclusion so this is an amazing room with a lot of customizations and super gaming performance. So I would definitely recommend you guys to flash this room. So if you want to flash this, I have made a video on how to flash AOSP based custom rooms, link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to like it, share it with your friends and most importantly subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. So goodbye and take care.